Hey, welcome back everyone. I am Matt Larson and well after yesterday's Jay Leno show with Ron Paul uh, Everyone's kind of just saying that's the nail in the coffin. Uh, Ron Paul's not running third party. He's not endorsing anyone uh, And that's it. So Where does the Liberty movement go from here? First of all, we can't look that far down the road yet We can't say where's the Liberty movement go from here because we still have to worry about this year's election on November 6th we still have to figure out who are we gonna vote for this year around and honestly I don't know who I am going to vote for um, I, I really have uh, some reservations about this because I know a lot of people say vote Gary Johnson it's gonna further the Liberty movement but then we talk about all the voter fraud and election fraud that has gone on so far. And do you really think that the powers that be that control both the left and the right are going to allow a third party to ever get placed into debates and actually have a legitimate chance at winning? And that to me really doesn't seem fair, I guess. Um, I honestly don't believe that Gary Johnson will get the 15% needed to get on uh, all the national televised debates. Uh, pure and simple because, as we've said, if Ron Paul got in a debate with those two clowns, he would destroy them. I believe even Gary Johnson would destroy them on many of the issues. So we talk about how Ron Paul is never going to be allowed to win. So how is Gary Johnson ever going to be allowed to win? So that's where it comes in my dilemma. I still live in one of those uh, 42 states that allow write-in votes, and I know I'm going to catch flack from saying this, but I still believe that I'm going to write in Ron Paul. Plain and simple, because I think that our votes aren't going to be counted in the first place, and I have to do what I am going to stand on, which is my principles, and vote Ron Paul. I'm not willing to sacrifice my, my principles for a uh, pro-choice person, uh, he's for humanitarian wars, and he's not even for ending the Fed. He's for auditing the Fed at most. Uh, so I, I can't really sacrifice myself uh, to go vote for Gary Johnson when I know, first of all, he's not going to win. And second of all, I just basically did what we say all these Romney supporters are doing and voting for the lesser of two evils. I honestly don't believe Gary Johnson will further the liberty movement just because he's not going to win. Now, sure, if the elections were fair and Gary Johnson would have a chance at getting on the national televised debates, I would probably sacrifice myself and my vote to at least further the movement. But knowing that this movement is not going to benefit uh, because Gary Johnson will not be placed into any of the debates, why sacrifice my principles when at least I know I voted for the person that honestly America needs to be the next president? being Ron Paul. I want to know what you guys think. If you have a good enough discussion or some type of explanation for me, maybe you can sway me into voting for Johnson. Uh, leave that in a text or video response down below. Also, I ask that you thumbs up this video, share it with friends and family. I think everyone needs to be having this discussion. I think that it's too important to just throw away your vote, uh, even if it is just voting for Ron Paul uh, in a write-in state or just staying at home whatever you guys think. Also, if you're new to my videos, make sure you click that subscribe button so you can stay up to date on all the political news and even the Ron Paul news. Who knows if there's any surprises that he has up his sleeves, whether an endorsement or special uh, uh, notifications towards us. As always, I'm Matt Larson. Go Ron Paul. Peace.